Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Terry and you're watching the AXO. It's 2021, a new year means a new Samsung Galaxy device. And this time it's the Galaxy S21 series in particular. So, what's new? Let's find out. So this here is the Samsung Galaxy S21 with their new packaging, which is thinner, takes up less space, probably because there's no charger. Let's find out. We have the phone itself, stickers. That's pretty much it. We have a SIM pin ejector, got some quick start guide, and a USB type C to C cable. So that's pretty much all there is in the Samsung Galaxy S21 in this up. Phantom violet color for the camera. So that's how the Galaxy S21 looks. Gold edges with the violet back. Now there are three devices this year which includes the Galaxy S21 which we have right here, the Galaxy S21 Plus and the Galaxy S21 Ultra. These are all 5G ready and they are powered by the Samsung Exynos 2100 processor that is based on the 5 nanometer process. Now let's first talk about colors. The Samsung Galaxy S21 series comes in the Phantom Violet, Pink, Grey, White, Black and Silver with the Black and Silver version only available on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. In terms of display, all variants of the Galaxy S21 series comes with the Dynamic AMOLED 2X panel with a 120Hz variable refresh rate and an improved eye comfort shield that reduces blue light emission. The smallest of the family, the Galaxy S21 has a 6.2 inch screen while the Galaxy S21 Plus has a 6.7. Now both the S21 and S21 Plus outputs a Full HD Plus resolution and the refresh rate is variable from 48Hz to 120Hz. Processor-wise, as mentioned before, the Samsung Galaxy S21 series is running on the Samsung Exynos 2100 processor. According to Samsung, it promises a 20% increase on the CPU performance, 35% on the GPU performance, and twice the performance for the NPU processing. Now moving on to the camera, as you can see, the Galaxy S21 series this year has this new sleek curved design that combines the camera bump with the side of the device. Personally, I really like it because it's different and it doesn't really take away from the user experience at all. But that being said, placing the phone on a flat surface still has some wobbles, particularly with the Ultra variant as it has a thicker camera bump compared to the smaller variants like the S21 and 21 Plus. So here's a quick snapshot of the camera specs for the Galaxy S21 series. When it comes to features, the camera now supports 8K video recording in 60fps. Apart from that, all lenses on the S21 series now supports 4K 60fps super steady video from the main sensor to the ultra wide angle sensor and the telephoto sensor. There is also the new director's view feature which includes the vlogger's view and live thumbnails. Now vlogger view allows you to capture video with the front and back camera simultaneously while the live thumbnail feature shows you a preview of all the three lenses before you actually switch to them. The single take 2.0 feature introduces new photo and video mode including the best moment highlight video, dynamic slow-mo, and scene lighting. You can now also adjust the shooting time from 5 to 15 seconds so you can get even more shots out of your one press. As for space zoom, the S21 and S21 Plus has 30 times space zoom. Night mode has also been improved with a brighter night sensor to reduce noise in low light environments. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra has everything the Galaxy S21 and Plus has with upgrades here and there. The screen is a slightly larger 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED 2X display with a 2K resolution. It also has a 1500 nit of max brightness and a 3 million to 1 contrast ratio resulting in bright visuals and 
vivid colors. Now since the refresh rate is variable, the S21 Ultra can reach the lowest of 11 Hz. Now that potentially means that the S21 Ultra can save more battery as it could change the refresh rate for different scenes of media consumption. For example, watching a movie could reduce the refresh rate down to 11 or 24 Hz, while playing a game could increase it back up to 120 Hz for maximum experience. It also has a larger 108 megapixel main sensor compared to the 64 megapixel sensor on the S21 and S21 Plus. It uses Nona binding to combine 9 pixels into one single pixel for ultra clear pictures. For space zoom, the ultra variant has dual zoom lens, which are 3 times and 10 times optical zoom. Combine both that, and that gets you a hundred times space zoom and thanks to the dual zoom lens you now get zoom lock this feature locks the focus once you've zoomed past 30 times and stand still for two seconds or when you tap on the zoom lock icon in the top left corner now connectivity wise the s21 ultra comes with wi-fi 6e and dual bluetooth connectivity which lets you connect up to two bluetooth devices at the same time the s21 series also gets ultra wide band which uses Wi-Fi to locate your devices and the best part is it can even recognize distance with signal frequency and strength. This feature is used in conjunction with the newly launched SmartThings Find feature and the Smart Galaxy Tag. And yes, the Samsung Galaxy 21 Ultra now supports the ever popular S Pen which is taken from the Note series. Now this is the first for the Galaxy S series but that being said, there is no slot for you to slot the S Pen into the phone like the Note devices do. So it it has to be carried around separately. Alternatively, Samsung do sell these casings which come with a special slot for the S Pen but it does add to the wideness of the device. Now battery wise, the S21 Ultra has the largest capacity of 5000 milliamps, while the S21 and S21 Plus comes at 4000 milliamps and 4800 milliamps respectively. Now they all support 25 watt fast charging via USB type C wireless charging and reverse charging as well. Now before I end this video, just a couple of things to note. The S21 doesn't come with ultra wide band but the Plus and Ultra variant do and only the S21 Ultra has Wi-Fi 6E while the S21 and S21 Plus only has the standard Wi-Fi 6 which in itself is already pretty good considering it's a big upgrade from the Wi-Fi 5. So that is all today from me for the Samsung Galaxy S21 series. I know this video is long but I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did making it. Now for the full details and specs of the Galaxy S21 series, you can get yourself up to speed at our website which is the AXO.com listed here. Now do give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Terry, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch y'all next time.